The comparisons that she was making are so far from oh, any standard that, in my opinion, her testimony is absolutely false. Good morning. Time to get up and start my day. I hate getting out of bed. But gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Looking rough, but it will all change shortly.
excited that I am approaching that six month mark because time is flying by. Um, today at my appointment, I'm not exactly sure what all we're going to be doing. They really didn't tell me, but I do know that it is almost time for me to do my glucose test. So I'm pretty sure that will be at the next appointment. And then I'll start, since I am at the six month mark, I think after my next appointment, I'll go start going every two weeks. Right now I'm going once a month. So I cannot wait for that. Um, nothing spectacular on today. I have on this shirt. It's kind of like, it's a tunic. You can wear it as a shirt or you can wear it as a dress. And I have on jeans and just some canvas sneakers. I'm still able to fit my jeans and button them up. I actually have on a pair of high waist jeans today and with they have three buttons. I'm able to button them up all the way. Um, I just have to leave it lowered up under my belly and not pull it up. But I'm still able to fit into all of my jeans. Um, my shirts are becoming a little snug. So far I have gained, I want to say 10 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy, which is really good being that I will be six months this week. Because with my, when I was pregnant with my daughter, which is my first pregnancy, I gained like, I think it was like 65 pounds with my daughter. So that's really, really good right now. So I'm really waiting to see what my end weight is going to be. Um, I really haven't had any problems or any complications to tell the doctor this visit. It's just, I've been having headaches, but my headaches were going on my last visit. They're just becoming more often and my back is starting to hurt more but at the beginning of my pregnancy i did have a retroverted uterus and they did tell me that majority of my pregnancy will be consistent in my back so i will feel most of my pain there it has started to tilt the right way because when your uterus stretches then it does go into the right position but i think the baby is just kind of just kind of staying in that position and he's in the lower position as well so like when he kicks and he moves well yeah when he kicks and when he moves i can feel him like up under well like where you're sitting down basically your pelvic bone i literally can feel my baby down there but you know it's just because he's an active baby so it's nothing to worry about my water isn't going to break early and it's okay and i'm having a repeat c-section anyway so it's all right um as far as my c-section that is going to take place I haven't scheduled it yet. Um, I'm waiting to talk with the doctor because you know once you get going in your two every two week visits, that's when they start talking to you about birthing plans and the options that you want to do. Um, we've already established the hospital that I'm going to, but what I am going to do, I am deciding on a birthday, which I think is very special because with C-sections, you are able to plan kind of the day that you want to go in there unless you have complications to like with my daughter I had preeclampsia and I had to have an emergency c-section because her heart rate was dropping so unless you have those type of emergencies you can kind of schedule a date to go in and schedule your c-section so what I am hoping is that I will be able to choose probably a holiday date um, the baby is due June 22nd and July 4th is not really that much behind it my daughter is an april fool's baby so i kind of either wanted to keep the theme of a baby born on the first of the month or a holiday baby so it just depends on what i choose but we're gonna uh, hopefully we'll be able to come up with a decision once they tell me how far out i'll be able to wait and schedule my c-section or if it becomes that i have to schedule it early we'll just see how that goes but I'm still on the highway, on my way to my appointment. It is 1.33. My appointment is at 1.40. Um, I'm almost there. It takes me about 20 minutes from my home to drive to this city to where my appointment is. Um, I could have changed my doctor, but this is the same doctor that did deliver my daughter and I love this um, office. <coughs> I lo excuse me, guys. I love this office. And the, the doctors are so nice and I'm used to them. I go to them on a regular, like, I rarely see a family doctor. So when I need, like, any of my woman needs taken care of, I still go visit my OBGYN for, like, my routines and stuff. They, they It's just that type of office. So I really, really love them. Um, and I'm keeping the same doctor that delivered my daughter. The ironic part about it is my daughter, when I said she was born on April Fool's Day, my doctor's dad, they have the same birthday. 
and it's crazy so you know he really he made a joke about it and we've been relating to each other ever since then so it's been really good he makes you feel like your family so i really like it um, I'm going to try to catch some type of footage inside of the doctor's office. I probably won't be able to get that much footage because they don't really allow filming. So we'll just see exactly what all I will be allowed to do. Um, I think at this appointment, I don't know if we're having another ultrasound or if we're just going in for the belly measurement and my urine and uh, height and, I mean not height, my weight and blood pressure. I think it's just like a basic hey we want to check and make sure you're okay the baby's still breathing kind of visit and out the door because the last visit only took me like 20 minutes um and that was when i was 20 weeks i think yeah 20 weeks so hopefully everything goes good today i'm pretty sure the baby is still there he's been moving all morning i've actually been up all night actually i went to bed i actually slept okay yesterday i didn't do anything yesterday was sunday and yesterday I really didn't do anything. I went to bed around, I think, 2 p.m. Yeah, like two in the afternoon. I took a nap, which I thought was gonna be a nap, and I ended up waking up around six. And I got up and I cooked dinner, and then I fell asleep um, for another hour. And I couldn't sleep because my back was hurting. So then I got up and I was up for maybe one o'clock to about six o'clock this morning. And I went back to sleep to about 11 o'clock this morning. So my sleep cycle is very, very off. But that's because now that I'm hurting, it kind of it's kind of hard for me to stay asleep because it's hard to get comfortable. Um, I put a pillow under my side, it didn't help. I put a pillow up under my butt, it didn't help. Under my bag, it didn't help. I just could not get comfortable for some reason. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about going on Amazon or something and ordering me one of the actual maternity pillows that encases your whole body. And I'm gonna see if that's what I need. I also need to get one for work because my work chair, it's a, it's a computer chair with the reclining back and the mesh net back. And they gave me a back support for it, but the back support is like just one of the ones, if you ever seen like at Christmas time when Dollar Tree tries to get fancy, and they put that back arch in there that's what they gave me so it's not very cushiony so it really really sucks but that's the support that they gave me so you know we'll just have to see what goes on but i'll come back to you guys when i get to the office and see what type of footage i can get okay so i am inside of the room i can't talk really loud um it's people in the hallway but i am inside of the room um, I've been at my appointment for maybe 20 minutes now. Um, took my blood pressure, my urine, and my weight. And I'm into the room now, waiting on a doctor. I don't have to get undressed, because you're just gonna listen to the baby's heartbeat and measure my belly, make sure everything is on progress. Um, this is our room. See the light that they use whenever they have to do your regular exams, like your PAPs. The gel over there on the table for the listening of the heartbeat and also the gel they use for the ultrasounds. Um, this is just what the room looks like. My bag, pictures. Pretty basic standard room. So, yeah. Also found out next week it is my glucose test. So, we gotta drink this. I got the fruit punch flavor. It used to be red. Um, they used to be red or orange. Orange is for orange, of course, and red was for fruit punch. They're a little clear with the flavoring. So I've got to drink this for my next visit, which is in 28 weeks. So it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah. So I'll come back to you guys after this. Okay, so the PA just came in um this, she was new this is my first time seeing her um but she just came in she was the one that listened to the baby's heartbeat the baby's heartbeat is 150 which is really good um and also she measured my belly my belly is measuring right at 23 centimeters which means that i am all baby i am not gaining that much weight with this pregnancy which i am so happy because like i told you with my daughter i gained a lot of weight so that's very exciting that i'm just gaining my belly weight that's quicker for me to snap back when all of this is over. So right now I am just waiting for them to come back in because I didn't tell them about my headaches and 
they are looking back because I had pre-clamped pre -clamped you with my daughter. They had to go back and pull my files and look at everything. And then they're going to come back and see what we're going to do to keep that monitor to make sure it doesn't come back for another early delivery. All right, you guys. So I am out of my appointment now. The time is 2.57. My appointment again was at 1.40. So it took kind of a while. I had to wait because another patient had an emergency. So they had to leave out of my room and come back in. Um, this is, I'm still sitting in the parking lot. Just a little basic office building for my OBGYN. Um, this appointment, it was very basic. It would have been shorter, but like I said, another person had an emergency, but it was very basic. What they did was they just prepared me for basically for the next appointment. Um, they gave me again the Easy Dex 50 and the instructions for obtaining my glucose screening test. Um, basically, I will have to drink this by the time I come back to my next appointment. I drink it right before my appointment. I have to drink the whole bottle within 10 minutes of opening it. And then I have to be at the office within an hour of taking the test. So this should be very interesting and waiting for it. I'm backing out you guys, so give me one second. But this should be very interesting. I'm not worried about the test. Um, I didn't have gestational diabetes with my first pregnancy and that was eight, almost eight years ago. Well, it was eight years ago, including the months um, after, well, including the months during and then the birth. But, um, so I didn't have that. My preeclampsia to help prevent that, they want me to take one aspirin a day, starting today, a little baby aspirin, um, every day up until I deliver just to prevent the preeclampsia from coming um, also everything else looked fine my blood pressure was fine my weight again was fine the last visit last month I had lost four pounds and I've gained those four pounds back this visit so I mean I'm just going up and down but it's okay I'm gonna lose it all when the baby is out um, also, while I was there, the drug reps came by and they were giving out free samples. So they gave out this cute little bag. It's just a little circular zip bag. I'm gonna figure out something to put in it. I might use it to keep um, my aspirin and some Tylenol and stuff with me while I go to work. I think that's a cute little small container for that. So I might use that for that. I think it's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's my appointment. My next appointment, today is February 27th yeah my next appointment is March the 27th exactly one month from today and everything should go good then um, that is my appointment where they will check up again on the baby measure me check my glucose levels and everything and make sure that everything is good and nothing out of the ordinary and right after that appointment is when I will begin my every two week appointments so I am very excited for that. I am looking forward to going every two weeks because that means we're getting closer and closer to the finish line. I feel like I just found out that I was pregnant um, like maybe last month. This pregnancy has flown by. When I was pregnant with my daughter, um, I guess it kind of was slow because it was my first pregnancy. I was kind of, you know, remembering all the days, counting all the days and wanting the days to go by slow. But this pregnancy, because I've been so sick in the beginning of the pregnancy and had so many complications, this pregnancy has just been like, uh, I go to sleep all day, I wake up, it's a new day. So everything is just moving by so fast, and I'm so ready. February came and went. I hope March comes and goes as well. 